August 20, 1977, NASA launched the Voyager 2, and on September 5, 1977, launched the Voyager 1. Both of these spacecraft have something incredible on board, the Golden Records, which contains audio and images from Earth. Over four decades later, the Voyager 1 is over 14 billion miles from Earth, and the Voyager 2 is over 11.5 billion. So why put images and audio from Earth on a spacecraft? The hopes are that one or both of these spacecraft may be found and possibly intercepted by an intelligent alien civilization. If this happens, then it would reveal a treasure trove of information to whoever finds it about Earth and the solar system. So, what would happen if the golden records are actually found by some intelligent alien civilization? You are watching the channel Hypothetical Experiments, and here is what would happen if the golden records are found by some alien civilization. The Voyager 1 is traveling through space at a speed of 35,000 miles per hour or 9.72 miles per second. By 2030, it would stop transmitting back to Earth and at this speed, it will reach a light year in 17,000 years, reach the distance equivalent of Proxima Centauri in 40,000 years and reach 100 light years in 1.7 million years. So it may take a really long time for any alien civilization to come across the spacecraft. But what if they do? Then they would have to separate the golden records from the 1,820 pound spacecraft. On the record is a collection of images and sounds from Earth. But aliens may not know what to do with the phonograph record. So NASA has to provide a set of instructions on how to make the records work. But how do you begin to communicate with a life form of which you have no idea of? Scientists at NASA created a code that any highly intelligent beings living in the universe may be able to decipher. If extraterrestrials find the golden records, then the first thing they would come across is its cover, which contains some unique symbols which are instructions on how to play the messages sent from Earth. The largest symbol on the cover is a pulsar map, which shows Earth's location in the universe by triangulating Earth's distance from various neutron stars. The pulsar map would give anything that finds it a clue as to where it came from in the universe. Want to learn more about neutron stars? We made a video about it. You can go check it out after this video. The next symbol shows what is the most commonly found molecule in the universe, which is hydrogen. The symbol illustrates the transition between the lowest states of hydrogen. So any civilization with enough technology to intercept a spacecraft moving through space at 9 miles per second would probably understand hydrogen enough to know that when this transition happens, radiation is released in a wavelength of 1420 megahertz or a wave period of 0.7 nanoseconds. This wave period is used as a basic unit of measurement for every other diagram on the cover. You may think that the images included on the record are printed out or in some digital form, but the golden record is not a digital disk. The computer system of the Voyager is only 69 kilobytes large. That is not enough for an image, talk more of 116 images and audio. The rest of the symbols are instructions on how to make the records work, assuming aliens don't have record players. The markings on this symbol are binary codes, which shows the speed the record should be turned at for it to work properly, which is about 3.6 seconds per rotation. At this speed, the aliens will begin to hear greetings from 55 different languages, followed by samples of Earth's music and other sounds like baby crying, crickets chipping, trains, whales, thunder, etc. The total runtime of a record from beginning to end is 53.82 minutes. On the other side of the disk is the sound that consists all of the image data contained on the golden record. A section of the cover explains how the sounds will be decoded and all 116 images will be pieced together. A replica of the first image on the recording is shown on the cover so the viewer can verify they are decoding the messages correctly. The images on the record are images of things from Earth, our planet and the solar system. And with nothing to erode it in space, the record is estimated to survive for over a billion years, traveling the Milky Way. If extraterrestrials find the golden records and actually understand what's on it, 
then they might want to pay us a visit. So, what would happen if we are visited by extraterrestrials? Perhaps that should be a topic for another video. Here are some of the media contained on the golden record. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it or learned something new today, then give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell, so you will always be updated or upload a new video like this one. That should also help the channel grow and create better videos. And don't just go, we have dozens of videos like this for you to check out. Simply click on another one and enjoy. Thanks once again for watching the video and hopefully see you in another video.